What is POP3? POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol and it is one of the most commonly used methods for mail retrieval on the internet today. POP3 allows people to retrieve their emails and store them locally on their PC. However, POP3 is limiting. Once this mail is downloaded, you cannot read it from elsewhere. This is why people prefer to use IMAP. The way online business should be. IMAP and POP3. Just what is the difference between Internet Message Access Protocol and Post Office Protocol when it comes to your email? If you want to know about IMAP versus POP3, have I got some information for you. The experts at Brightbox Solutions created Help Desk Premier and know how to answer technical questions of all kinds, like IMAP versus POP3. This video has a scoop. Let's watch. IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol and POP stands for Post Office Protocol. Both of these protocols are used for email retrieval purposes. Specifically, they process the transfer of email messages from the server to an email client. The POP email retrieval process goes like this. When you click on the Receive option in your email client, it will connect to your remote email server. It will retrieve all mail and store it locally as new mail, and it will also delete those mails from the server. The exception to this is if the email client is configured to keep mail on server, in which case the client will just disconnect. The IMAP email retrieval process goes like this. First, when you click the Receive option, the email client will connect to the remote email server. It then pulls the user-requested content and caches it locally. Then, it disconnects from the server. There are several differences between IMAP and POP. The two protocols generally operate on different ports. Essentially, POP is a one-way communication path, whereas IMAP offers two-way synchronization between server and client. POP is sufficient if you're accessing your mail using only one device, such as your PC. IMAP is a protocol of choice if you need to access your email from multiple locations, for example, both from your office workstation and your notebook or tablet. So, what are the pros and cons? The advantages of POP. POP will download emails without leaving copies of them on your server. This keeps the space used on the email server low. The other advantage is that mail is stored locally and is always accessible even without an internet connection. A connection will only be needed when sending and receiving emails. Now the disadvantages of POP are, since there's no remote server copy, if data is lost from the location where the email was downloaded, no email recovery option will be available and all your email will be gone. If you intend to use a single email account configured with POP, but want to use multiple email clients on multiple devices, some emails will be missed, since there's no synchronization between server and the devices or clients. Now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of IMAP. IMAP is often preferred in many cases. In the IMAP protocol, emails are stored on the remote server and therefore are accessible from multiple different locations. IMAP can take a little time to download and synchronize emails from some remote servers, but it's a flexible, more reliable, and more complete email retrieval method compared to POP. Now you know! Next time you have technical questions, find easy answers with us and share us with your friends. Hi and welcome to Easy Email Explanations. What are POP and IMAP? And why would I use them? And how? Well, POP stands for Post Office Protocol and the easiest way to explain it is that it's like a one-way street. So tra traffic flows from your mailbox to an email client. POP is like a language. Two computers that understand POP can speak to each other. 
we can see here that multiple email addresses pop into one email client. The email client is the software program that allows you to read and manage your email. With an email client that's installed on a computer, such as Outlook, Live Mail, Entourage or Thunderbird, the emails are stored on the computer. Sent mail goes via an outgoing server. This is called the SMTP server, which means Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, but you don't need to know this, as there's only one kind of outgoing server, and the sent mail is also stored on the computer that it's sent from. So far so good, if you only use one computer. But if you use two or more computers, POP is very limiting. Only mails that are still left in the mailbox, that have not yet been downloaded to the main computer, are available from the laptop. Some people choose to leave a copy of all mails on the server and just pay for the storage space, but it can quickly add up. And sent mail is still an issue, because it's stored on the computer it's sent from. So it's not available from the main computer. You could of course copy Tom on the sent mails and set him up as another incoming email address, but that's a bit too messy for most people. IMAP is a much better option if you use multiple computers. IMAP stands for multiple for Internet Message Access Protocol and it's like a two-way street. Messages go from the server to the client and back to the server to be synchronized with other computers. The great thing about IMAP is that even sent mail and mail that's been organized in folders use these two-way streets. So everything you do on one computer is reflected on any other computers. Everything is synchronized. With the Easy Email solution, we show you how to use both POP and IMAP. Gmail accesses and stores all of your email from all of your email addresses, and this is synchronized across all your computers and all your email clients. So anything you do on one computer is reflected on the others. Whether you're online or offline, you can access your email. And the other great thing is, you just set it up once, and it automatically synchronizes from then on. So check it out, www.easyemail.net, and learn how to simplify your e-life. Hi friends, here are the steps to enable POP or Post Office Protocol in your Gmail account. Open a web browser. On the address bar, type www.gmail.com and then press Enter. Enter your Gmail account details and then click Sign In. Click the gear icon and choose Settings. Click on the Forwarding and POP or IMAP tab on your Settings page. On POP Download section, Select Enable POP for mail that arrives from now on radio button. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click Save Changes button so that Gmail can communicate with your mail client. Wasn't that helpful? Thanks for watching.